Okay, so this is on a 10 minute load, but fine. I'm glad. Really, really fun. I'm glad you said so much fun. Yeah. I'm glad said so fun. You can't say it. No, so much fun. Yeah, really. I, it's nonstop laughs, and it's great. Yeah. I don't well, know. I think okay. it's better than the see. first. It's good. Maybe. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Really great job. And I mean, how easy or hard was it to slip back into Freddie's skin or hair, should I say? <laughs> yeah, I, I did slip in the hair this time. Um, it's, it's not hard. It, um, it was hard the first time. But it wasn't hard the second time. The second time you have a lot more confidence in what you're doing because you know how well it was re received the first time. So it's not hard, but it's still a challenge. And like anything else, but I love, I love Fred Jones. I, I love him, and I love how conceited and arrogant and self-loving he is, and how self-loathing Velma is. You know, like I just, I wanted him to be the exact opposite of Velma. So, so I have, I have a lot of fun, but it's, it's not hard. It's not hard. Yeah. Um, with this one, I mean, yeah. Fred, tell me a little bit how Fred is different between the two, because there is a change here. I saw yeah, it. Oh, well, we. We try to, the whole moral of the movie is to sort of accept who you are and be proud of who you are and happy and, and you know, sort of wipe away all the nonsense. And, and, you know, Fred is macho and and he's, you know, he's a hero and he's put himself on this pedestal and he, he, he holds himself to a certain standard that he believes is above other people and he doesn't believe he can show a weak side or sensitivity because he's a man. And, like I said, the moral of it is to show that that is okay and that's a part of being a man and so he in a very sometimes funny way sometimes sad way um works through this process but everybody has their thing you know daphne's image is everything and, and velma's trying to be someone she's not when seth really loves velma not vamp velma you know what i mean shaggy doesn't think he's worth anything so he tries to be but everybody is important and is special and serves a purpose in the group and so that's sort of the whole message and, and they each go through it a different way and that's that's Fred's way. Mm -hmm. Was it, like as you were saying, because you guys are all comfortable, I, I personally could see that on screen. You were just, you knew these characters, it was easy, you know what to expect this time. How was it getting back with the gang and doing this again? We, uh, when we made the first movie, all four of us knew we were making something very special. We endured a lot of criticism For whatever reason, for somewhere down the line, people forgot we were making a movie for kids, and they were mad we didn't make it for them. And unfortunately, I can't help you out there. I didn't, you know, it's, it's not for you. You know what I mean? So we knew how how good it was going to be. So when we made the second one, I remember we were at the read through, and not all the roles had been cast yet, but the foursome was there. You know what I mean? And and we depend on each other. And we look after each other. And we're really, really good at taking care of each other. Really good at it. And that's what we do on set. You know what I mean? Like, I, that's, when we're on set, that's my family. And I look after them and I care for them. And, mm -hmm. and, and I love them. And, and sometimes I yell at them. And, you know what I mean? It's, it's all those things that are, that are necessary for us to go through the process. You know what I mean? And yeah. it was more our job to, usually Matt's taking care of me. I know that we've made five movies together yeah. and he's always in four of me taking care of me and for the first time you know this is Shaggy's movie you know what I mean and so it's my job to look after him yeah. you know and take care of him because this guy worked non-stop and I told him I was like I told you you don't want to be the lead because <laughs> you, you're there first and you're out out last and people think that they shoot number one on the call sheet offers that's not true maybe Audrey Hepburn got that <laughs> Freddie Benz does not, and Matt Lillard surely didn't. So that kid worked every day, yeah. 14 hours a day, and just endured and stayed strong and focused, and, and he's so good with no nothing. Scooby, yeah. you know what I mean? So that's good. Yeah. Was it easier this time around working with, you know, the green screen, the special effects, all that kind of stuff? You know, it's... I understand why you say that. It's sort of... It's not easier... But you're better equipped for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it's never easy. It's I can't focus on something that's not there. If I'm looking at you, my eyes look a certain way. If you move out, they're gonna naturally focus to the next closest thing. It's really hard to focus on nothing, but you learn how to do it. Matt's better than all of us at it, but but he's with the dog in every scene. So but it's not it's not easy. It didn't get easier, but we were more prepared. And 
it's a very physical movie. I mean, you get yourself up on that motorcycle and do the jesting. I mean, wow. Yeah, but that's not so. I mean, motorcycles... It's scary. People are intimidated by them, but they're not hard to ride. They, they, they really aren't. So it's that's that's not a tricky thing. There were challenges within it, maneuvering it with a pipe on the left handlebar is, is not easy, but that physicalness of the bike is good. It's a powerful bike. It got, if you started to lose it, you can just power it right out, and, and it's good. And I, and, I, and I used to ride motorcycles, so... So it was it was fairly easy for me, but but yeah, there's a lot of physical stuff, and everybody had some stuff to yeah. do, so it was good. Yeah, was being good. the Scooby Doo aficionado that we all know that you are, yes, um, I mean, how cool was it to bring these monsters to life? It was, except my favorite ones didn't make the cut, but they didn't have any lines, and they were like the henchmen. So it was Warner Brothers' version of the Skellies. Yeah which are cool and goofy, but they're not scary. I like these monks, these Chinese monks that had these silver masks. Yeah, yeah. They were really cool and scary, and they didn't make it into the movie. But I guess, you know, they wouldn't have been as goofy as heads coming off and bones and all that stuff. But those guys weren't in the cartoon. I know. But the rest of our monsters were. Well, favorite one that, what was your favorite one that ended up being? Small man right there. And the reason why is when he comes out of the lake, right, and he's behind the mystery machine, shoots his harpoon gun in the back of the mystery machine, and we're like, go, go, right? Um, that's the exact same shot from the cartoon. Yeah. The exact same, in the opening sequence, you see Captain Cutler's ghost come out of the lake, frame for frame, it's the same shot. Yeah. And so he's my favorite in it. And the guy that plays him must have lost like 100 pounds by the end of the movie because this guy, I mean, this, the costume yeah. weighed like 100 pounds on its own. Then they make him soaking wet and then like, oh yeah, and uh, Go fight everyone, mm -hmm. and you can't see. So well, just do that. That's what Matthew was saying. They were all blind, you know. <laughs> oh God, I can't even imagine. Yeah, and I'm having to run around them and punch them and roll all over their backs. I'm like, just don't move, bro. <laughs> don't move. You're not gonna hit me. Don't move. Do whatever. Whatever you do, do that again. This is the exact same way. Um, and the relationship with Daphne and Fred is a little bit different. It's taken to a better, you know, higher level. It's, 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 it's taken to where I think people wanted it to go yeah. so we try to establish that as something that's already been done and so that they're comfortable in their relationship and if they weren't she wouldn't be able to help him through and he wouldn't be able to help her and obviously i mean comfortable i mean you're married to the girl i mean how easy is it to work together and then is it hard not to take this stuff home i mean this is a fun movie but you know do you yeah, talk about it after or sometimes some nights i mean it's very it's so not an issue for us you know what i mean we're we're both really really good at what we do so we go to work we come home if we, if something happened at work that we want to talk about we talk about it if nothing too eventful happened we talk about whatever you know what i mean it's it's very simple it's not there's no trick to it you know what i mean because there's it's that's just our job yeah having ruben there that was a <laughs> that was such a fun scene to watch yeah, that must have been fun to do he's, he's, a, cool, dance move. he's a cool kid our choreographer that set everything up went to show uh, Ruben what he was going to do, and he goes, I got this. <laughs> Grabbed his mic, strutted down the middle, singing. It was, he's, he was cool, man. He's a good guy. Yeah, was it was, guy. that was a fun, fun scene to watch, yeah, too. Yeah. So all said and done, Scooby-Doo 3, would you be considering it? Um, no, I, I signed on for two, and I when I signed on to do these movies, I needed to play Fred. Yeah. I, I pursued that role actively against the wishes of, of the press. Just wanted to see me do something else, but that's what I needed to do at that point in my life, and and now I need to do something different. My next movie is very, very different, and it's and it's the exact right time for me to do it. It wasn't the right time for me yeah. to do it two years ago. It was time for me to make Scooby two years ago. Last year was time for me to make Scooby two. You know what I mean? So I'm very methodical when it comes to my career and I, I know what's best for me no one else does I promise I'm very good at it I've been doing it for a while and I've had success so I wouldn't have been ready to make my next movie two years ago I wouldn't have I wouldn't have been the best and I have to be the best I have to if I think someone's better than me I say it I have no problem with that I just so now I did that I won't make a third that's just the way it is you know and, They'll find someone else and he'll do a great job and, and I'll go and I'll, and I'll move on and do my thing. Well, we're really glad you did this one. I'm too. very glad too and I'm glad that people dig it and I love that kids dig it. And that's the whole point in making it. And I, Even though they don't believe me when they see me, they're like,
like, you don't have blonde hair. And I swear, it's me. You did, a, you, did a, you did a great job. Uh, it was a pleasure it. to talk to you. And Thank best you. of luck with everything. Thank you. I appreciate Thank it. You. Oh, you're Thank very you. welcome.